Hey folks, welcome to the channel. My name is Joy and today I'm talking about personal statements. That is personal statements, you know, after everything that we've experienced and been a part of over this last year in 2020. But before I get started, go ahead and hit like on this video. It's absolutely free. It costs you nothing and I really appreciate it. Helps me keep making videos to get you ready for the college admission process and then subscribe to the channel. Doesn't matter, you could be your freshman year, going off to grad school, subscribe, subscribe to the channel. I have content no matter what part of the application process you're in, from writing your personal statement to what matters between the SAT, ACT, GRE, to what you do once you've hit submit, and then you know how to prepare for once you've been accepted to college. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. So, like I said, today. I get to talk about personal statements, my absolute favorite. I think out of all the parts of the college application process, helping folks with the personal statement, not only to think about it, what we call brainstorming, like what think about what you wanna write about, to getting that on paper, to going through the revision process and really just like spilling your guts um, for the admission staff, like what is that? mean in a way that makes sense obviously you don't want to like talk like you're on the phone with your best friend but but of course i'm always like the number one word i tell people when i talk about writing personal statements is learn how to be vulnerable in a way that speaks to who you are and you know at the end of the day makes whoever's reading your personal statement want to freaking meet you like i gotta meet that person that's what you want to say that's what you want to be said about you after someone is done reading your personal statement i gotta meet the the person who wrote this statement because everything about them is just so powerful incredible captivating i i gotta meet them and that's possible for anyone you may not believe it but that's not aspirational you just gotta learn how to tell your story so that's one of the things i'm gonna be talking about today is how to write a personal statement for 2020 and what i mean by that is you know we're not even united states really out of the pandemic yet um and you know i i open up the news every day drive down the street participate myself in continued protests uh that are really centered on police brutality against black folks and you know my, for myself personally talking about reparations all those things so as an applicant getting ready to either go to undergrad whether you're a student who's applying to state school you're out of town or who's you know hopeful of going somewhere to the ivies if you're an international student in either of those circumstances you know how do you write about should you write about the pandemic COVID-19 and the protests Black Lives Matter protests and protests against police brutality and everything that's happened with after the murder of George Floyd especially um so you know the first part that I'll answer is should you talk about these things um I alluded to this earlier that the pandemic which has affected billions of people people across the globe so not only is this an issue that's um confined to the united states but across the globe we have people who have been infected with covid who have died from covid who have had family members impacted affected lost jobs you know been confined to the home across the globe um you know and then I say something similar about the protests that we've seen. This has been a, you know, a hundred years issue that affects whether you realize it or not, every person that, that lives in this country, especially, it doesn't matter what your skin color is, that you are affected by the protests that are happening or that you should be affected. You will be affected because the, you know, the outcomes that protesters and, and, and folks standing up for their rights are talking about will impact everyone. You know, the right to, to go vote for you, the right to, reparations the right to basic civil rights to you know to to stand trial to 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 fair to to fair punishment whatever that looks like if you whether you want to uphold the criminal justice system system that we currently have or, or completely dismantling like everyone in this country is you know permitted to equal treatment under the law 
But that goes into like deeper topics. But what I'm here to talk about is the personal statement. Can you talk about these things in the personal statement? So I think when we think about how this is, you know, the these two these two issues are talk down there are some of the biggest events for for decades really. And and I said that to, to say that you would you would miss an opportunity to talk about and discuss in your personal statement something that's profound, something that's impacted almost everyone you know, your admissions officer who is going to read this personal statement in three months, six months, nine months, a couple years, whatever it is, has been impacted by one of these issues. So, so if you don't do it, then you miss that opportunity to be vulnerable about something that has no doubt impacted you, but also to connect on a personal level with the admissions officer, because you know that they've also had a relationship with these issues. Um, I would also say when we're talking about current events, especially, it's it's more rare than you think that an applicant actually talks about a current event. When you think about a personal statement, m most most times uh, current events. If you take, for instance, I'll think about you know um, I'm trying to think about something that's not. <laughs> I'm laughing, but something that's not you know more but or track. When we think about you know current events, um, like maybe you have a student in the United States and you know, the tsunami in a different country happens or there's there's an earthquake that happens or pr new president gets elected, prime minister gets elected. That doesn't necessarily impact or, or, you know, a student moves to a different city. That doesn't necessarily impact everyone, but events like this do. So I think when we talk about current events that impact, you know, everyone on a global scale, it's actually really rare for applicants to mention these issues because they're more focused on what's impacted them personally. So I remember a couple years back, I uh, I had a lot of applicants um, when I was reading for University of Washington talk about as high school students, what it felt like to hear about and understand that a situation like Parkland could happen in your Parkland, the shooting in Parkland, that, that, you know, where students, students were killed by a fellow student, that that could happen in your school. So I think that's really the last time I really saw, and not even, you know, I, I may have read 900 applications and 12 students talked about that issue. But I found what was unique was that every time a student did talk about those current events that really had an impact on their lives, it was always memorable and I felt connected to it because I also knew about those events. I also knew what it felt like to be a high school student in a time where school shootings happen. I also know what it feels like to have family members who are in school and wonder, you know, if they'll make it home that day. So I think when you can use a current event and connect it to something that's personal for you, um, whether that's talking about the pandemic, the quarantine, being out of school, co a, a family member who, you know, uh, uh, had had the infection, or if you had it yourself, or talking about the protests, um, being a black person in America, going to the protests, organizing. I think if you can talk about those big current events and then connect them to your life personally, you know, you have you have an end almost to. A connection with your reader which is one of the main things that you want to do when you're writing personal statements and trying to be memorable impactful and stand out among the you know almost a thousand that a typical admissions officer or admissions reader is gonna go over in a year so the answer is yes talk about your experience through this pandemic or your experience organizing or participating in protests or seeing the protests, your experience living as a black person or an indigenous person, Latinx person in America, or as a white person seeing these protests happen and hearing about, uh, hearing the terms white supremacy and white privilege. You can talk about those things. Now, I, I will be honest, you need to be careful about, you know, trying to fit something like that in 650 words and less or less and then not being able to fully express your opinion, especially if it's a controversial one. Sure, you may say that, you know, I don't believe in white privilege, but understand that it's hard to defend that position in 650 words or less and that it is a controversial controversial position and it might not be the place for it. I'm just gonna put that out there that, um, you, d yeah, sure. Uh, 
First Amendment, it's a college application and you have the right to write what you want in your personal statement. Um, but that's, it's not a popular opinion. So I think at most colleges, you're not going to be able to explain that in uh, 650 words or less in a way that doesn't paint you as uninformed or bigoted. That's just being honest. Okay, so I think, talk about it, and when we specifically think about COVID, some of the issues that come up in my head is, COVID can be really important if you're a STEM major, someone who is interested in being in the healthcare field, you have the opportunity to talk about how you've thought about COVID as it relates to your future career. So I wanna be a doctor. This is what I've th seen as far as access to healthcare. This is what I've thought about as far as developing vaccines and um, prevention and public awareness. If you wanna be a public policy student, law student, there are implications there as well uh, for your career as a public policy student. You see all the, the, the laws and policies that are put in place by governors and mayors whether that means you're mandated to wear a mask, mandated to stay inside, businesses are mandated to close. There are opinions and impacts and effects around all those different issues as a future law student, public policy student, um, even criminal justice student when we talk about uh, folks, being, uh, folks who are incarcerated being released to prevent the spread of COVID. Uh, you can go over to the Black Lives Matter uh, side and, and when you talk about and think about the protests and how you might write about it in your personal statement. Um, not only as, you know, just a, a future law student or uh, a future public policy student, a future um, first responder, if you're if you're going the career route where you're becoming an uh, emergency responder, firefighter, police officer, there is room to talk about these issues in a way that is personal meaningful, contemporary, impactful, and connected to what is going on. Like I said before, you don't want to miss an opportunity to have a forward-thinking perspective or to illuminate your thoughts on an issue that is on everyone's mind. Sure, you know, and, and I was going to say, sure, you could talk about something that is personal to you, but you know, these issues, the pandemic and the protests that are happening are personal to everyone, um, whether it's at a global level or when you're thinking about specifically colleges and applicants in the United States. Um, I'm just looking at my notes here so I make sure I don't forget anything. I think you can also talk about how um, the, the pandemic and the Black Lives Matter protests have impacted or altered or strengthened your beliefs. You know, if, if you're a adamant about healthcare for all, universal healthcare, better care for all, and that's, that's a position that you want to advocate for as a future public administrator or as a, a future lawyer, or as a, a healthcare professional, you advocate for Medicare for all, healthcare for all, then, you know, talking about COVID in that, in that sense can be a pathway to discussing how this pandemic has strengthened your beliefs around, around that particular issue. You know, same thing with, with the, the Black Lives Matter protests and anti-racism, anti-white supremacy protests that seeing you know the police brutality that has been recorded on video or being a part of a community that has been impacted by police violence or being a part of a community that is owed reparations or due a debt from the government you know can in inform your beliefs change your beliefs or really submit what your morals and and how you Think about your community, the folks around you, your decisions and your actions. So I think talk about Common App, Coalition App, grad school essays, law school, writing about your the research you want to do as a PhD student, med student, as a healthcare professional, nursing student. I think there's so much opportunity to talk about both of these worldwide events you know a lot of what i've said is has limited the anti-racism protests to the united states but these protests haven't been limited to the united states they've actually happened at 
a global level. So don't be afraid to talk about these current events in your personal statements. It's more rare than you think. It's impactful. It connects you right to the reader and it allows you to be vulnerable in a way that bridges you towards talking about your career or your beliefs or what you've done over the past year. And then, you know, as I talked about before, the answer is yes. Don't miss this opportunity to talk about these very important events. I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, working again this year as an admissions reader and reading applicants' thoughts about what has been happening in our world. Because again, I'll tell you, those, are the, those essays, those personal statements are the most memorable. And I think that's how you're really gonna stand out from your peers and talk about something that is extraordinary anyway because it's your, it's your unique opinion about something that's happening to everyone that everyone has a relationship with so take that opportunity whatever level you're, you're writing at i think you can you can take this these these subjects and write something that is extremely compelling don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel i appreciate you guys tuning in Looking forward to giving you more content in our post-COVID world about how, you know, COVID and the pandemic and, you know, campuses being closed is going to impact college admissions and going to college. And then, of course, I will talk to you next time. Bye.